Science and technology play a major role in today's Army. Command Sergeant Major Darren Bond of the U.S. Army Forces Command has spent more than 30 years on active duty, including tours in Kuwait, Bosnia, Kosovo, Afghanistan, and Iraq. But it wasn't until he toured the Army Research Development and Engineering Command that he understood how scientists and engineers support the soldier. The last couple weeks that we've kind of traveled around throughout uh, you know, the, the United States seeing some of the things that we do, uh, it's been, uh, it's been an eye-opening experience from, from how they gather things from the field and from you know, industry and, and put them in and, put, and make them better and put them in the hands of the soldier. It's been a very educational experience for me. RDECOM headquarters is located at Aberdeen Proving Ground, Maryland, but the command has laboratories and facilities throughout the country. Home to more than 16,000 military and civilians, RDECOM develops technologies in its seven major laboratories and research development and engineering centers. Vaughn, accompanied by RDECOM senior enlisted advisor Command Sergeant Major Liebert Bahari, visited facilities in Michigan, Maryland, Virginia, New Jersey, and Alabama. What impressed me the most about uh, uh, RDECOM is the, is the workforce. You know, mainly comprised of civilians, but uh, the energy, the uh, professionalism, uh, the pride that they take uh, in their work, uh, never losing sight of what so the end purpose is, the purpose of, of what they're doing, uh, and that's to provide the best equipment and the best technologies in our soldiers' hand in harm's way. After touring RDECOM's facilities, Bond said he would like to see more collaboration between the commands. I would like to see Forcecom, uh, you know, get more involved with uh, with some of the technologies and sharing ideas from the soldiers coming back from a theater of operation on, on how to better a piece of equipment or or have an idea of how to make something better and to share those ideas and the experiences, you know, with uh, you know with the, the scientists and people that work in in, in RDCom to make things better and uh, be part of that process. At Redstone Arsenal in Alabama, for Army Technology Live, I'm Dennis Neal.